Assalamu alaikum. This is Brother Idris. His German name Andreas or Andy. This one is one here? Uh, yeah, those are actually, uh, yeah, you pull them out, but they're seeding, so it goes in trash. They're spinach. The, this, the leaves are okay, but because they're, yeah, <laughs> it's just too much to explain. So this brother, uh, I met him a few years ago. I think, yeah, that's that's pepper, leave it there. Um, I met him a few years ago with his young son and the sister, and he told me that he was about to go back to Germany. I told him to better stay here because you found out he's a Muslim. And he said he doesn't have people to teach him and his ex-wife is pushing him to leave. Wouldn't you know that she's a Muslim? She wants him to go back to Germany, give the kid German education. I told him, no, don't leave. Just come <laughs> move towards where our building is and I will teach you and your son and we have class. Oh, that's pepper. Oh, thank you. I'll save it for you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, he was with us. He stayed. How long were you here at this building, Idris? A year at least. At least a year. Oh, another one. Here, give it to me. This is your lunch. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Anyhow, he was here and the next wife really pushed him to go back to Germany and his visa was expiring. She was uh, not cooperating. She went to Germany for six years. Yeah. Six years, right? Six long, terrible years. <laughs> six terrible years. And what happened in those six years? <laughs> it happened. I lost my kid in a way to the secular world. It was my fear. That's why I came back actually. So in case you don't hear him well from distance, yeah, he said he yeah. lost his kid to the secular world. I they had the impression at least that I'm losing my kid. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to have a girlfriend, 14 year old, wanted to have a girlfriend. It just, everything changed, turned. He came back, Alhamdulillah, he came back. Uh, we're hoping that he is able to get long, long term visa. It's not so easy for foreigners. And, you know, I'm here also alone and have this large garden and the lady that was helping me she, her her knee has problem she cannot help and this is way too much work and god bless him at least anytime i ask him to come and help and do things that i cannot do by myself he's the one that's doing this may allah bless him you know he's just he's he calls me Omi, so I'm his Omi here. <laughs> we help each other and encourage each other, you know, about Islam, about Quran. He's starting to learn Arabic. Have you uh, started your class yet, your education yet on Arabic? I um, mean, only self-studies. Self-studies? Still with the alphabet. <laughs> oh, you're still with the alphabet, Actually, okay. I got my books yesterday out of the storage. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I came back uh, the day before yesterday, and then I went to the storage uh, because all my stuff has arrived huh. now, so I can actually get my books out. So I got good. The go and I started, uh, good, the good. Started, Are you ready or willing to be on there some kind of a, a little bit regiment so that you can maybe send me daily studies what you have done and ask questions in case you have yeah i mean right now i'm still with the alphabet which is i don't know i'm i'm a slow learner it's okay slow learner but you really need to push yeah. <laughs> you really need to push if nobody is there to ask you then we are human beings we're lazy a little bit so uh we'll talk about it later wow that's great so what we're what he's doing is he's pulling all the leaves Put it in one bucket because I'm going to compost them so that these would go back into the soil. The stems that are very difficult to uh, compost, we're going to throw in the trash, you see? Mashallah. May Allah reward you, Idris, for everything that you're doing for your ummi. And inshallah, I'll have a delicious lunch for you. <laughs>